like that, Booz. I mean, that's look. That's sometimes you see it happen, and I almost feel like it's accidental when it works out the right way. It's a difficult play to to, to make work effectively, right? Yeah, you roll the dice. You hope you get the right bounce. Um, but tonight, I, I'm really impressed by Boogie Cousins, man. I think it's one of the best games he's played in the Warriors uniform, 27, 8, and 7. Gave them a big lift tonight without KD. James Harden, a big night at 29 and 10. Klay Thompson, as we said, 30 points. And the second player ever now, 200 uh, threes in consecutive seasons, joining Steph Curry. But late in this game, the Rockets did push back, which is a good sign because they could have bailed in. Now, look, they're at home, I understand, because they were down double digits to the Warriors, who they've had that you know, foot on the throat thing for years down and putting teams away. So you see the Rockets persevere and get back in, but Golden State able to do enough to hold on. But don't you think to a man that if you go to Houston and say, do you think you have a chance of beating Golden State in the playoffs? Each of them yes. believes we're good enough to beat this team. We can beat them. We think they're the ones that are worrying about us right now that we hope we don't have to face until the conference finals. Well, uh, I called him the cheat code when he came over because the idea of pick and rolls with Durant and Boogie Cousins and all the different things that you could do. But as you said, tonight, the night where you show up against the team that you know you need to show it to, what that guy can do. And Boogie's with Kareth Burke after the game. He's a long time now after giving out some high fives. This was a game where you guys played as a team. And from a good start to... To, to staying focused, to holding this lead, how did you guys lock in tonight? Uh, just like you said, just coming out playing, you know, team basketball. Uh, of course, obviously we were shorthanded with KB and out, so uh, we, we really had to lock in as a team. Uh, you know, losing a talent level like that, you know, it's, it's obvious. So uh, just lock in as a team, be as sound as possible, and uh, play great team basketball. 27, 8, and 7 for you as well. Were you thinking about having a big game? Are you getting more comfortable? Uh, just trying to come out and, make, uh, and, and have an impact on the game, however I can. Uh, obviously, like I said, KD was out, so somebody had to step up in this place. So, uh, you know, I took the available spots, and uh, you know, I was successful. So. Anytime you play this team, fouls are a factor. How do you think you guys did minimizing the fouls and then making the most of your opportunities on the line? Uh, just playing sound defense. Uh, we know James is crafty when it comes to drawing fouls, and CP as well. So, uh, you know, just having hands high and using our bodies and feet to uh, play defense and, uh, you know, it worked out. Are you guys playing angry tonight? <laughs> I wouldn't say angry. <laughs> nah. What was it? What word did you use? I think we had a good energy. A good energy tonight throughout the team, so uh, that, that was good. Same with the communication. Lots of talking on the bench tonight. Absolutely. Like I said, the energy was great. Everybody was engaged, and uh, that's how we got to be every night. Thanks, guys. All right. All right, so big night from Boogie Cousins. The Warriors able to hold on, and no Kevin Durant, right? And they have always seemingly over the last couple of years, Coach, had to play with somebody missing for a long period. So I know they're used to it and they have enough pieces, but how much more impressive is that than maybe some might give credit for? I know they have Steph. We know what Clay did, and certainly Boogie helped. But that's without a guy who many consider to be, at worst, maybe the second or third, if that, best player in the game in Durant. I think it's a great night for Steve Kerr to send a message to the team that, listen, as well as Houston's played against us and a couple of seconds ago, I was just praising Houston's ability to think that they can beat Golden State. From Steve Kerr's perspective, he can go in that locker room and say, hey guys, we just went on their floor without Kevin Durant and we beat him. And that's a good thing for us heading into the playoffs. Yeah, and you know, you talked about Boogie. We talked about before with the game he had high for the Stars. He had 27. But I like the fact the other numbers, too, doing the little things. So a couple of times on defense, maybe uh, not able to, to find his man. And it's tough sometimes with the rim runners they have with guys like Capella and tonight Fareed. But how about Boogie in this spot Get a chance to play big games? And talk about that as a player, Booz, because I don't think we give that enough credit for this is a guy who is now having an opportunity that he's always waited for, that he had for a year in college, and has always been on teams trying to chug and get there. Now he's on the team in the group, and he got a chance to show it tonight against Houston. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, he's got a chance now to, to possibly win a championship. This is a huge game, obviously, in the middle of March uh, on Houston's floor. I think he played his best basketball game. They went to him down the stretch. He was making great passes. He's an underrated passer. Very impressed with his seven assists. And to see him scoring at an efficient clip, 11 for 16, that's a great number for Boogie. Um, hopefully he can build on this as, as the final stretch comes down and the final post of the rest of the season and put it into the postseason. We take a look at the pretty pictures out in H-Town. The Rockets have won 9 of 10 since that defense kind of amped things up. But uh, early... Uh, 
Nothing's going to amp things up to stop that, especially if you don't close out. Harden, nothing he could do. Curry hits the three. He had 13 in the quarter. Hits the finger roll there, but gets help from his friends after the miss. Booze, here's Kevon Looney. Great, great timing right there. Great tip dunk. Give him a lot of good minutes for this. Coach mentioned it before. Uh, 200 threes, you did not see that in an NBA season. That's uh, Curry, back-to-back -back years. Now Clay, back-to-back -back years. Pretty good. Beard, he knows how to hit the three as well. Step back, that's a tough shot. You know, besides that one, though, they really struggled from the three-point line, shooting just 27% tonight, Houston. Didn't get enough of them. Had them early, which kept them in it, Coach. Remember, they were down, those who didn't see the game, double digits at the beginning, and then fought back by the half. Here, get some help. Again, in that paint, who's making decisions, finding open people. Huge, man. When James gets in there, gets by the first defender, can find all his guys. That step back three, almost unguardable. Step back City hits the three-pointer, 29 and 10. Lead two at the break for the dubs. Eric Gordon gets into the act with a three. First lead of the game for the Rockets. Things starting well in the third, but then transition. Clay and Boogie coach going to work with his biggest game as a member of the Warriors. You got three on one. That's not a good thing for you, so that nobody's back besides one man. Speaking of not good things, uh, got to find him. Step 24 in the game, hits the three, lead up to five. Now, when you can hit threes, you could just kind of lay, let's dribble outside. I mean, they didn't see much of this in, in, in the 90s. Well, why you just go a, inside? Why take a two when you can dribble outside <laughs> and get a three? Come on. Absolutely. Yeah, just, you know, and why putt from like a couple of feet when I could do it from all the way over here? Cousins at 27. Game high for the starters. Rockets not going away, though. Deep three from Eric Gordon, then another step back. Inside, maybe a little push. Gets the jumper. CP3 at 24 of his own. When he's healthy, it's big. And look, we can go back all we want. Can't change it, but game six and seven a year ago may be different if he's there and healthy, which is why they got to keep him that way, keep him in that bubble wrap booze between now and the playoffs. Absolutely. You want to keep CP as healthy as possible. You're going to need him in the, in the postseason to make a, a long stretch. Here's the play again with Harden. They're down three. Hits the first free throw after the smart foul. Second one on the tip. Curry up in the air. That's all she wrote. And the Warriors hold on. Blow that big lead, able to hang on by a thread, but a thread's enough, 106-104. You know, think about this. We've seen a couple guys now this season try to miss their last free throw intentionally and miss, miss the rim altogether, which you have to hit the rim. Big 30-point game for Clay, inside and outside. Sometimes both coaches we saw in the same play. Here he is with Doris Burke. Arguably coming off your worst loss of the season. What were the keys to rebounding, particularly without Kevin Durant? Uh, well, when Kevin's out, we don't have the ultimate luxury. You're just throwing it to him and him getting us a 30 up at this point. So we had to play through DeMarcus a lot in the post, and you saw what he's capable of. I mean, he's been doing it for eight years now, and it's incredible how talented he is, and he propelled us to a victory tonight. You know, it's interesting when we think of him in the low post, I think most people think dominant scorer. How did his passing affect your ability to win tonight? Oh, unbelievable. We saw what I, we were doing. I got about four cuts to ran from him. Uh, he hit me on a lot of threes. So to be that big and strong and to have the ability to hit you right in the shooting pocket, uh, I, really, I mean, it's incredible. The last center I played with who was able to do that was Andrew Bogut, and he's coming back too, so it's nice. Clay, how much does your mindset change on a night? My bad, Zaza. My bad, Zaza. I said my bad, Zaza. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Does your mindset change at all when Kevin Durant is out in terms of your level of aggression? To be honest, not really. Uh, my game is predicated off spacing the floor, running off screens, cutting hard, rarely dribbling, obviously, but uh, just being a force without the ball. So whether Kevin's out here or not, I play the same exact way. Game, Warriors a big win on the other side. Tough loss for Coach D'Antoni.